What are the benefits of a truck driving job? What are the benefits being a truck driver? Well, there are many. The trick is each benefit doesn't apply to all people who become truck drivers. So you have to think about that. But in general, the number one benefit, in my opinion, is just job stability. Truckers will always be in demand. Job stability. Pretty much the only way you will not be able to get a truck driving job if you have your CDL is to have violations and a bad work history. So you go somewhere, you know, I've already been to a several trucking companies and when they call and ask them, would they hire you again? Everyone says no. <laughs> and then, all right, it starts to get difficult, which, you know, makes sense. All right, so number two, I would say is flexibility and where you're able to live. Like you're able to relocate if you need to, or if you want to, you can go somewhere where maybe closer to where you might have a dependent child or relative that you've been separated from or that you were close to and whatever, for whatever reason, you can relocate to anywhere that there are trucking companies, which is everywhere. Now you have to pick a trucking company that has terminals. You know, that's something you got to plan out if that's, you know, with all of these things, you got to think about what it is that you desire from a trucking company. All right, well, let me, you don't know to prioritize these things if you're not aware of them existing right so let me continue so that's the thing and now the third thing you know i i said the most important it ain't no really the most important again it depends on who the person is because this right here to me is the most important to many people in the circumstances that applies and this is one of the big reasons why i i keep talking about trucking it enables you to escape your environment say you're in the hood or whatever an area with limited opportunities with a trucking job you can overcome that obstacle perceived obstacle 2024 you know i mean things are a lot different than it used to be decades ago but yeah so you might have limited, limited job opportunities, especially like in a rural area, with not a lot of growth. You can go trucking and you can escape that environment. Let's say because of where you stay, close proximity, there's nothing but people who are influ influential in the wrong way, always up to no good, always getting in trouble. And somehow you got mixed up in this crowd. Somehow this is your circle. Somehow you, that is your crew. And of course, in many cases, that type of crew, they're going to clown you or ostracize you or frown upon you if you were to stay around those people and try to change your life for the better. Clean it up, straighten it up, pursue a course of more positive activities. You know, take some classes, get some training, learn new things. They, they might not appreciate that. Crabs in the bucket, you know. They don't have the ambition to do it, so they don't want to see you doing it. They don't want nobody to escape. Well, trucking is the way to get out of that environment. Another benefit is there is no cap on opportunity because you can start as a company driver. You can specialize. That means the lowest hanging fruit is pulling a dry van. That's regular general freight. But you can also do refrigerated freight. You can do flatbed. And both of those are a little more money. And you got doubles. Uh, that's more money. And, and hey, I don't know. Some people might prefer doing that. I guess there's plenty of people who prefer doing that like anything else. Because a lot of times it's dropping hook terminal to terminal. And uh, that could be cool and worth the money. So what up? You got doubles. You got flatbed, you got refrigerated, you got hazmat, you got tanker. So you're stepping up from from dry van if you do that. And then you can buy your truck. Now that becomes tricky because depending on where you are, what company you are with, or whether you get your own authority, you may or may not make more money. But you can make the same money in less time, so you get more time freedom. And once you get your truck paid off, or you know, and you have no issues with the truck, then and you're strategic with what you do with the lump sums of money you get. You set it aside, you invest, maybe you expand the company, maybe you, you get the authority, you get on operators to lease on. If you do that, you, you definitely can expand your income. But there is no cap, so you keep expanding that way. You can't do that working in a warehouse. You can't do that. You can get, well, it depends on the warehouse. You know, at, the, at, at certain companies, I guess, you can get supervisor positions, management positions, and go up and go up. But not as easily as in trucking. But working at a company, the company has to have that opportunity for you to pursue. In trucking, you can create that opportunity. And so. It, yeah, I stand my ground.
there's no comparison all right what's another one let's talk about well another one is you can get lump sums of money let's say there is an investment or business you're eyeing on starting if you have your own truck now you're 1099 you got to pay taxes but you know it's risky doing it this way not setting aside paying quarterly like you're scheduled to do but you can get lump sums of money and put it into your venture whereas if you're another type of job and even if you get the raise you can't get your it's going to be equal distribution each week each month unless they're bonuses but in trucking hey you can run hard go get it you're getting several thousand dollars each week and invest in your business then pay the taxes you know next quarter or something like that but obviously you, you can't take that lightly you got to think strategize and all that to do it that way but that's there what's another big benefit it's the type of job where you can take your spouse along with you if you got in a relationship you can't take your spouse to work with you at mcdonald's or a warehouse or even in corporate jobs but they can ride with you which brings me to another benefit you actually are able to travel as part of the job again as a company driver you won't have as much free time to actually spend at the places you go to you can here and there especially if you have to reset your clock but back to the owner operator part you can set it up that way get ahead like i can say get all of the repairs done on the truck money set aside for repairs let's take a few trips where we spend a few days in different locations let's go to phoenix for a few days let's go to you know just different places where you might have been thinking about you want to check out and you can drive the truck there make some money there take some time off there get a room get an uber and get around and instead of buying a plane ticket or catching a bus you're getting paid to go out there and chill out and even when riding around during work you know you can see different parts of the country and small towns and stuff like that that there is no airport to go there you're not going to spend money driving there for no reason but if you're in the truck you have to go through these places to get to your destination and so to me that's always been interesting and so that depends on the person on how much you love traveling and and all of that what have i forgotten oh great benefits that's up there you have great benefits as a company driver. A lot of the larger companies, smaller companies, and many of the medium-sized companies, they got a great retirement plan, great insurance, dental, medical dental, retirement, yeah, life. So if you got a family, no insurance, no jobs around, it's not ideal to be gone from the family. But listen, maybe this is a temporary way to set some money aside and have the family be insured in the meanwhile while you plotting on your next move and trucking can help you do it that brings me to another benefit it's easy to get finance and say you're trying to get your house or something you strategize your plan is to be out out here three years four years get your bills taken care of clean your credit up and set the money aside and it's pretty easy to get financing for a house because they know that you have a steady job, steady in Banks feel the same way I do. Trucking job is the no stability. You got job security. So you can buy the house as you're plotting on your transition. And I, if anybody can think of other reasons, please put them in the comments below. Help folks out. Thank y'all for watching. Good luck.